Hello dear friends, I am Damandeep Kaur, Assistant Professor, Faculty of Education at the Bhopal School of Social Sciences. Today I will discuss about probing question skill. Now let's know what is probing question skill. So probing means inquiring closely into something. Teacher asks a series of subsequent questions. The purpose is to lead the students to the higher level of understanding. These are the components of probing question skill. So the first component is prompting. Second, seeking further information. Third, refocusing. Fourth, redirecting. Fifth, increasing critical awareness. The first component is prompting. It refers to the hints or cues. Teacher asks such a question which provides hints to the students. Student can reach at a desired response from the undesired response. And yes, when students give wrong response or no response, in that case also, it also helps in reaching the desired response. Now always remember, teacher does not provide the answer to the question but help a student to reach the right answer by giving prompts. The second component is seeking further information. Teacher asks for some more information from the students. It further helps to check the understanding of the student. Students provide additional information and yes it strengthens the original response always remember sfi is used when a student gives a partially correct or incomplete response for example type of questions can be tell me more about it is there any other answer to the problem? Would you give an example to support your view? Would you please elaborate your answer? The next component is refocusing. What is refocusing? It means focusing again. So here what we do, we refocus on the main idea. Now, in refocusing, uh, when a teacher can use refocusing, when a teacher gets a response and which is a correct response, in this case, a teacher enables the students to think again. To think again about the main idea whether that main idea is similar or different in a complex or a novel situations. For example, type of questions can be in what way it is similar to, in what way it is different from, how does it relate to, redirecting. Now when a student is unable to give the correct response. The same question is directed to another student. Now here if you see S1 stands for student number one and S2 stands for student number two. Now suppose a teacher asks a question from S1 and if S1 is unable to answer to that particular question, the same question is redirected to S2. So what is really happening? It increases 
students participation in the class now the last component is increasing critical awareness we can also call it as i c a now it includes questions based on how and why now here students are motivated to justify the responses rationally now always remember ic is used when a student gives a correct response now in a nutshell i will share with you how to use these components now when a teacher receives incorrect response or no response a teacher can use prompting and redirecting and if teacher receives correct response teacher can use refocusing and ICA intensive critical awareness and if teacher receives partially correct or incomplete response a teacher can use SFI seeking further information now i will share with you a model lesson plan based on probing question skill which will further help you to understand the components of this skill so uh, the top most details will remain the same and then you have to make a columnar box there are three columns one for the pupil teachers activity second for the students activity and third one is for the components so the today's topic is sole proprietorship now pay attention so under pupil teachers activity so teacher uh, is going to ask a question what is the unlimited liability clause in sole proprietorship so in students activity student has given no response now next teacher further helping the students with some prompts so miss seema owns a personal house and runs a boutique seema creations she borrowed a loan of rupees 1 lakh at 6% per annum from the state bank of india in the year 2020 what is the liability of the business so under students activities to s1 has responded s1 stands for student number 1 the business is liable to pay the loan borrowed from the bank so the component here is prompting now the further teacher will ask tell me in the sole proprietorship business can we consider the liability of the business as the liability of the owner so s1 is going to respond yes there is no separate legal entity the owner and the business are the same therefore the liability of the business will also be the liability of the owner so here the component is seeking further information next question will be what do you think if the business is unable to pay the loan then who is liable to pay the loan so in this case s1 has not given any response so basically her teacher is trying to refocusing on the main idea once again in a different manner okay now next in this situation who else is liable to pay off the loan so here we have used redirecting as this question was not answered by student number 1 so student number 2 the s2 is going to answer miss seema the owner of the business so what was really happening uh, so the same question has been directed to another student now lastly how the loan can be pay off by miss seema so the answer is personal house can be used to pay off the loan so here this will come under ica that is increasing critical awareness I hope students now you have understood the concept of probing question skill and you will be able to practice this skill. And now uh, other thing which I would like to share how this uh, probing question skill is really helping a teacher 
to help the students to think in higher order so it develops a higher order thinking skills in students and it also helps students to participate in the class so thank you and stay tuned